YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, the American African. And today's day 10 of this 90 day water fast. Today was a good day, you know? I felt good, I felt very sleepy, which is always a good thing. I was able to use my energy effectively. I had to take a nap though, but other than that, it's smooth, yo. I haven't had any big hunger pains. Um, I haven't reached hypoglycemia or orthostatic hypotension. My blood pressure is running high though. It hasn't came down. I actually stopped taking snake juice as of yesterday. I'm gonna wait till my blood pressure comes down a little bit. Um, I'm pretty well hydrated. I don't have dry mouth today. I had it yesterday though. And all in all, I feel good. I feel great. You know what I'm saying? As of today, I'm 253 pounds. Uh, you know, I'll be so happy to get under 240 again, under 230 really, but one step at a time. Um, I know I can keep going with the fasting, but man, I want to eat. It's not like I'm hungry, I want to eat. It's not even like I'm craving something I want to eat. It's more so like I want to, I want to cook, you know? I want to play with food and eat it. That whole experience, I want to go out and explore food again. But as of right now, I can't say that I would do that without overeating. You know, one thing I've been thinking about a lot lately is booze, you know? Am I ready to put it down permanently, you know? I'm just not the have one glass type of person, you know? I can do that for a little while, but once I increase it, that's it, you know? I, I, I get carried away very easily. So, you know, I'm just at a point where I'm just thinking about it. Like, I haven't had booze in 10 days. I could easily make it a lifetime. But the truth is, even like when I stopped smoking, it wasn't like, oh, today's the day where I stopped permanently. It's like I stopped and I kept thinking about it. But every day I just said no, you know? And then eventually it got to a point where it's like, okay, one month, two months, three months. And it got to a point, I was like, I'm ready to do it again. I was like, no, you're not. You're going to get addicted. <laughs> and then it eventually got to a point where even after like one year without smoking, I, I drove up to my favorite cigar shop one night because I just kept thinking about it. And luckily, they're out of business because of COVID. I mean, unfortunately for them, though, if it wasn't for that, I'd be smoking again, probably. So it, it's a one day at a time sort of thing. I know I can live sober. I mean, there's been times in my life I didn't drink for a year, plenty of months, stuff like that. But it's like when I do drink, I binge drink. And when I drink, I tend to get carried away with enjoying life. And that includes eating. Sometimes I think about is a sober life a boring life? You know, I think about it sometimes. But the funniest thing is that if I'm around people that are drinking and I don't feel like drinking, I don't feel like Oh man, I'm missing out. I don't even feel like that. Most of the time I drink, I drink solo. 99% of the time when I'm drinking, I'm drinking solo. Just like when I was smoking. Hell, just like when I be eating. So, I really love red wine. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, the fast is going great. I ain't gonna hold you out too long. It's your boy, American African, you know what I'm saying? If you're on your weight loss journey, you got any questions, comments, whatever, hit me up. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.